So today what we are going to do is we are going to unbox and test out the Ryobi workbench light with this model number P727. And as you can see behind me, I am having a little car, uh, little car trouble. So for the past couple of days, my heater would go on and off as it so pleased. And when my heater went off, the temperature of the engine would skyrocket. Then it would actually, then it would go back down, and the heater would work. So with my experience with cars, that tells me my thermostat is acting up. It is getting stuck in the closed position, and then it would open itself back up. So that just tells me that in time, if I don't fix this now, that my engine is going to suffer big time. And so like I said in previous videos, I'm really not a, a carpenter. I'm more of a mechanic. And so this light is going to help out. Now what I did do is, as you can see, it is, uh, it is open. I tried using a regular flashlight. No go. It's not enough light and you got to hold it. Even if this has a clip to hold it down, it's still not enough light because it only shines a certain area. I need the entire engine lit with a uh, settling light. I do not want a direct beam shining on anything. So this is going to come major, major helpful in this situation. And this is also going to help me work on the boat uh, during spring and summer. But... Let's unbox this, uh, see what it uh, what it does and what it can do, and let's see if it, you could actually use it for what it shows on the box. All right, so this is model number P727. So this is 950 lumens uh, of off-light output, 270 degree rotation arm, and multiple lighting positions uh, include uh, standalone and hanging options. We're going to test that out to see if we could actually do this. What I needed, what I need this for, without ordering extra parts or ordering something to rig this. Man, oh well, done. This is this is a tool only light, uh, tool only uh, purchase. Box is empty, but that goes to recycling. Of course, you got instructions and warranty, and then the light unit itself. Now, this really isn't. There we go. This thing is actually it's actually really cool. All right, so you get a hook. Oh, okay. So what you do is you slide that forward. Then you could. Then you have a hook. I'm assuming. All right. So then you. All right, so that has that spring that has spring tension. There we go. Okay. All right, so so you still have the the hook right here that you can hang that if you're hanging it at like a 90, 90 degree angle. Actually, let's go up a little bit. So ninety degree angle, you can do flat out one hundred eighty degrees. So yeah, so it's it's not three sixty. But it's 270 to where it goes from here to there. So that's not bad. Okay, is there multiple options? Yes, there is. You could you could have. Alright, so the options is this. There is no brightness adjustment. It's only options on which light you want on. Alright, if we push it once, both go on. Push it twice. Uh, that light goes off the top light and one more it switches it then one more they turns it all off so so that's that this thing is actually really really bright and so we are gonna test this and see what this can do let's see if we can hook this up without needing anything else yeah, I, don't, I don't think I can for my car I don't think I can for my car. See, even that is good. Even even that's actually really good. That lights up the entire, the entire inside of the car. Not not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. So what I, I think I think my thermostat is right there, but we have to take this off and. See what we could gain access to that. All right, so we gotta take these off. 
think there's only four of them. There we go. And I thank my buddy Greg for getting me this. Magnet tray. Perfect. See, just like that, I got a magnet tray now. There might be a few, yep, just a couple of clips. Alrighty. This that magnet tray is seriously. If you guys need a if you guys need a magnet tray, get one. What a difference! All right, that's that. Alrighty, so. That's fine. I have a little soap and water right here. That's all you need. There we go. Slid right off. So that gives me major access to that. There's my, there is my uh, thermostat right there. So now what we can do is put this in here. See that? gives me exact light that I need. Alrighty, so I had to take the bottom paneling off of the car. So now I got the 10 millimeter back and we are gonna take, we're gonna take this off, uh, the hose off. I got a bucket underneath the car and we are gonna see what it takes to take this out. All right, so let's take this out. Now what does suck is engine coolant is gonna be coming out. There we go. Not bad. Because this, if I let this go, this is gonna drain everything. No, that ain't going nowhere. So now, now I don't have to worry about the engine coolant draining from that hose. So all that's gonna drain is what's in the block. Actually, one thing I can do is probably take this off. If I can get access to that. I gotta take that sensor off. All right, so I just got that, took that sensor off. Now I have 100% access to that bolt. And the last one, is that on the bottom? Yes it is. All right, so the next thing we gotta do is we gotta put the gasket sealer on. Which guys, this is very important to put the sealer on. It is. Very, very tacky stuff. There we go. That's the point of the sealer. So, because, so you can just put that on there and it'll stay in place as well. It's one of the benefits of it. Alrighty, so I tested out everything. Everything works well. The new thermostat is doing its job. Instead of letting the engine heat up, then go back down, now it stays consistently uh, at a certain temperature, and I changed the, uh, the coolant that was in there. So that's pretty much done, all that's left. So I have all the hoses connected, I have all the sensors connected, 
and all I have left to do is put the engine cover on and uh, put the the underneath the the cover underneath the car back on. But I'm gonna it's it's snowing right now. My wife's car's inside. I'll put that uh, the cover on underneath the car later. So now I just got to put these on. Then we are done. Perfect. Done. So as you can tell by this video that this light actually does a good job when it comes to lighting up a small area to where you need light to be at. For, uh, for certain situations. Now it's nice to have this flexible and you could uh, uh, actually prop it up against stuff like you saw in the video to where this lights up exactly where you need it to light up. Now unfortunately when it comes to my car the hook attachment don't actually work because I have nowhere to, uh, I have nowhere to hook, hook these up to and I'm not going to start peeling off uh, uh, peeling off tabs to be able to hook this onto something to me. That's not worth it I'm just gonna have it lay somewhere in the engine to where I need the light uh, light to shine Now as just one more time as you can see lights up like that 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 then off and So uh, this is model number p727. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do uh, Show you guys what I do when it comes to working on my cars and the boat. Uh, and so this light will actually be very useful to do mechanical work. And uh, I do have a engine service light on, which I know that because I took the sensor off of the air, one of the air filters, that light's going to go on for uh, be on for a few miles until the sensor is calibrated back to the engine uh, or to the motherboard to tell it that it is okay so so yeah so that service engine light will go off soon oh uh, and so yes uh so that's pretty much it so this is dave nicholas thank you for tuning in and i'll see you guys next time hashtag very cool gang hashtag very cool gang